Hello everyone and welcome to Whiskey Wednesday. Um, back to American whiskey. Not reviewed American whiskey for a while. Uh, and we're throwing ourselves in the new deep end with Daddy Rack. Um, some fun stats about this whiskey. Looks very cool. You know, it's got a really cool label going on with it. It is a three-year-old Tennessee whiskey. It's 80% corn, 10% rye, 10% malted barley. I think it's only 40%. It is 40%. Um, has very similar stylings in terms of its taste. Well, on paper, anyway, uh, to Jack Daniels. It is a Tennessee whiskey. It has a very high co corn content and it's charcoal mellowed. Now this clearly states that it's double charcoal mellowed and it is only three years old, so it's about half the age Jack, but I think they are a pretty new distillery to be fair to them. Um, now, when you talk about charcoal mellowing, you know, Jack nailed that, have done for 150 plus years. Uh, George Dickel, another Tennessee distillery, they do a little bit of that charcoal mellowing. This says it's double charcoal mellowed. Now I don't know if that means it is put directly in the line of fire of Gentleman Jack, because I can't remember if that's double mellowed or if it's just put through more charcoal than standard Jack. That will run through my head for this entire video. But nonetheless, it sits in that Jack Daniels territory. It's from the same location. It uses a similar-ish mash bill, uses the same mellowing process, bottled at 40%, about £35 a bottle. So it is in that kind of Gentleman Jack price range too, but roughly about half the age. Um, Features of the, of the bottle are quite good, so we've got that cool front label, and then they give you loads of information on the back, which is quite nice for a bottle of that price point, because most American whiskies don't really give you that sort of information until you start spending a lot of money. Um, but yeah, let's smell, let's taste. What can 35 pound in bourbon buy you these days from new distilleries? Super floral. Like, really floral. Um, I don't know if my palate is changing or my nose is changing. Hopefully it doesn't get any bigger, but bourbon for some reason, in the last couple of months, every time I've smelt it, it's become really peanutty. And this has that, peanuts by the drove, tons and tons of them, but it's also covered in like lavender and like orange blossom and all these kind of wonderfully springy, summery smells. Almost like a raspberry jam sort of note to it. And coconut, custard, very dessert-like, as you'd imagine with the bourbon, but there's almost no spice on the nose. Yeah, rhubarb, raspberry, custard, coconut, like almonds, like toasted almonds, peanuts. So bright and clear. Typically, I like bourbon that's a bit heavier, wheated bourbon in particular. You know, like Makers 46 and Weller 12 year old and stuff like that. But it's nice to have something quite bright and, you know, clean. So wonderfully springy on the nose in terms of taste. Yeah, it's really nutty. Um, it has a quality of peanut butter about it, like peanut butter, peanut brittle, toffee. Not the uber caramel thing you normally get with bourbon. Which again, I love, but it's nice to have something different. Um, those flowery notes keep coming back. It's almost like a rose water, Turkish delighty thing. Quite different, certainly a different taste profile to Jack Daniels, which is normally very banana led, um, like banana bread. It's quite yeasty, almost like brioche. I always find with Jack Daniels across the whole range. Whereas this is, you know, cleaner and brighter and much more effervescent as a whiskey. That's really tasty. Um, like really good. The finish turns slightly bitter. The oak becomes a bit more influential. Uh, they do make a point of saying that it's only level three char on these barrels. Most bourbon distilleries are level four, so it is a bit lighter in general, even like at the start. 
before you know the whiskey even hits the barrel those barrels have got a lighter char to them that's delicious it's nice and clean it's very fresh that would taste wonderful in any cocktail you might have to add a bit more bitters to it or maybe spice it up a little bit more um but yeah clean pleasant drinkable most important part relatively affordable in the bourbon world at 35 pounds not many new bourbons come along below 40 quid i'm gonna give that like a solid eight i think that's delicious it's quite a surprise too because when i first opened it all it smelled of was peanuts and i was like ah oh, it's gonna be a bit one-dimensional isn't it it has opened up and it has literally sprung into its flavor profile so i think that's lovely i guess a solid eight from me and uh, if you've tried Daddy Rack, let me know. We'll be doing some cool social media stuff with it. We'll put posts up on Instagram and Facebook and all that. Um, and Wednesdays, as usual, because it's the only time we do social media. Um, but yeah, see what, let, tell me what you think. Have you tried it? Have you seen this anywhere? Because it's nice to see a new brand. Um, it might not be a new brand for everyone. It might be just me. I might be a bit ignorant to it all. I just had three months off work and I spent most of it sleeping. But um, yeah, let me know what you think about this. Is it as good as I say it is? Do you think it's better? Do you think it's worse? What's it compa uh, comparable to or competitive with? Um, yeah, I'm going to give that an 8. I think it's really, really tasty and quite surprising. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. I'm Phil. This is The Whiskey Shop again. That's Daddy Rack. And I'll see you all next week.